Yeah. Because if someone breaks down that door, then you can swarm them there at the entrance to your stockpile. So you're going to eventually want to have a soldier's training area. That should probably be one of your first priorities. I would also get stairs going down from here now, so you can get your stairs going down and you can start expanding your base and okay. your stockpile area. So pause, because your guys are just sitting around and they're going to get eight. You need to get them down here. <laughs> All right, I paused. And now you want me to use this channel button? I cut out again. Of course. <laughs> so get some stairs made. To Where? Get level. Click on. Yeah, it's fine. Click on the stairs. Is the stair button going to let you go down if you do that? What? There should be a stairs, like build stairs. It's different than ramps. Oh. Dig Big a stairwell. stairwell. Going up or down. Going up or down. So. Yeah. It must span multiple Z levels. Oh, okay. So you click, click on one of those rocks just on the side and then go up or down as go down as you level uh in the room on the side of the room any One side of the walls any of them mm -hmm. yeah that looks good and have that go down must span multiple elevations so what do yes. i do go down like this yeah. uh-huh and do like maybe two or three down like that yeah. good perfect and then do a little thing off to the side, a little hallway, single file, put a door down, and then uh, no other way. Yeah. Like this? Uh-huh. And then you got to put a door down, and this is going to be an expanded area that you're going to expand out. And I'll let you kind of design some things, but keep in mind that you're going to want to have good supply flow between spaces, you know? So you're going to want to have some workshops near some other things. So and you're, you're going to want to have like some living quarters and a kitchen and some other stuff. So this is a door here. Yeah, put a door there. Yeah. And then maybe build another door too. And expand that area down there into like a good living area. All right. So we're going to give you... I, there has to be make multiple doors like yeah re there repeat has to be. well here's the thing here's the thing here's the one you need an administrator to get oh the, like mm. the proper thing so you need to have a office which requires like a, a chair basically and a table and maybe a bookshelf and then if you have an administrative space then you can have administrators give orders from that and you don't have to click on the workshop so you can give all your orders from one space all right, but I'm going have to, have, yeah. to make, you said, uh, living quarters here? You can make this into a dining hall area across from living quarters, but you don't want bedrooms right by your dining hall. But you're going to want like a nice dining hall area. You're going to want a workshop area. You're going to want a living space area. You're going to want a hospital. All right, dining here. Di dining there, cool. And then the house is this way? Sure, yeah. And how big and, should my house be? Like a well, three by three or each four? bedroom for each dwarf should be a three by three. But if you're doing a barracks, you could just do like a five by six or something like that and put everyone's beds in there for now. All right, five by six, you said. That's four. Mm -hmm. that's and that six. will eventually turn into an administrative office once people are not living in there as a barracks or something like that. You know, you can repurpose some of these spaces. I think I'll put the door right there. Yeah, that'll help speed things up to the other parts of the fort. All right. So there should be a way for you to see the soil um, or like the ground. If you hover over the the ground, yeah. It does it tell you what does it tell you about the the wall? That's a wall. Go over the ground. The like floor. You see cavern floor, church cavern floor. That's a stone floor. Go up to your other level that you were at and hover over that ground because some of that might be tillable. Silt cavern floor, I think, is tillable. Chert is not. Um, but there's some things that can grow crops on it and other things that can't. And animals need to eat grass, so they're not going to be able to eat grass off that chert. Okay. You know, so, But you can have grass and other things grow, but it needs to not be walked on that often, so you need to dig out some dirt nearby. Which might means from this area, you, you go off to the side and go up into that mountain. It's kind of above ground, and there might be some dirt around there. 
So I would just like to take a second to go to the big map, the yeah, overworld. How see, do we do that? On. Like, where are we on this map? Hit, hit M. M, I bet, is map. Nope. Um, um, well, it's the corner Mining. thing, I think. What about the corner? Lower left-hand corner? Or actually, that might also... Or lower right-hand corner. Right, I'm open seeing, world, yeah, screen. world screen. So where are we on this map? Is that us in there? Are um, we... Hold on, let's 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 read the thing, um, because I'm right. You can send people out on missions, kind of like the Rim World stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And you can send it to them on raids, but you're not gonna do that for a while. I haven't yeah. played much of that. That's relatively new to me, the raiding thing. Where's um, me? Center on fort. This is my fort somewhere in here. Well, it's gonna center on it, yeah. If if you click that, right. So is that me right there? I think so. What does it say when you're Goblin Fortress? No, that's a Goblin Fortress, it says. It doesn't really seem very centered on anything in particular. How do I zoom in? Is it this mm. one? It's by those brackets, if if anything. It um, doesn't let me. Click on the other stuff on the side there, like the civilizations. It will tell you there's a Dwarven one that you're at peace with. Um, okay. Well, we're somewhere in this region somewhere near the, the the. You're in a dwarven civilization. Territory. No, so go back to center on fort. Just go back to that. Do you see the dwarven civilization you're a part of? Do you see them? Like the little whole hovel things in the mountains, and yeah, right there. There's like a bunch of things like around there. So that's less than a day's travel, and you see it's kind of like popping up things telling you about these places. A little bit saying how do you half a day's travel so i'm near here somewhere yeah yeah you're basically right in there somewhere short yeah. trip short trip <laughs> short trip so it's half a day so it's in this area somehow yeah you're in one of those spots and you see it says alliance so those are your allies those are dwarves mm -hmm. and then there's some elves off to your side to the left there you see like those tree forts the big green things yeah those are yeah. elves Elves for sure. Human there. What's the what's the fire? I mean, if you hover over the fires, is that something bad? It's humans. humans. Humans, they have fires. Humans are fire. There's a few humans around here. There's okay, dwarves, might... humans. You could probably go to war against the humans eventually. Um yeah. is that is that a tower that's up above you that up like at the top of your screen? Like that white thing? What is that? I don't know what it is. The Hill of Towns. I don't know. Maybe it's like Yosemite or something. I don't know. I was thinking it might be a necromancer tower. Can you see anything evil looking? On the I mean... Place? There's humans there, it looks like. Right? Human hamlets. So they're not just like fire, but they've got proper little houses. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Cobalt. That's cobalt. Cobalts! Oh, they're... they're they can be a little bit like little raiders. They can attack a little bit. Cobalts. Sometimes they're fine, but sometimes they can be baddies. So we can keep working on the little fort that we have where it is, or we can try and settle elsewhere. What do you think? I don't know. I don't see any goblins. Like is that anywhere? goblins? What's up? Well, I don't know what they look like. Where are the black splotches? Do you see those black splotches? Go Dark goblins. goblins. All right, so we yeah, got some goblins, the goblins here. They're going to kill those dwarves. Oh, you got some goblins on this continent down below yeah, as well. Look, yeah, right, right there, there right, right here. here. Mm -hmm. And so they'll eventually probably come down this they'll, way. They'll eventually swarm in. So go back to your fort. Where's your There's fort? goblins here, actually. Nearby you, actually? Is that you? Those are, Where are you? Are, we're are in you this at? area, I think. Off to the left, center on fort. Um, what's, the, what's the black stuff that's below your civilization there? That... Jungle? The jungles of ins ins insanities. It's an evil place. Ju oh, look at that. There's there's totally goblins in there. Yeah, there is. Dark it's hard goblin to see pit. Them. There's a dark goblin pit. There's a dark go goblin pit in there. Dark pits. Dark elven fortress. Dark goblin pits. There's a dark elven fortress. Alright, this pit. is probably interesting okay, enough. Okay, you're gonna you have got... some interesting things in there. Yeah, you'll, you'll have some dark evil spawns coming towards you 
Yeah, sure. I guess this is all right. They'll they'll grow into their own might. If you go to war against the humans as well, you can hurt the humans, and that would probably speed up their downfall. And they get recruited by the goblins. The goblins kidnap people and make them like have like ethnically goblin. Oh yeah, and then you'll get attacked by like crazy dwarves that are like speaking goblin at you. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go on this little island over here, but it's so off by itself that it wouldn't have any interactions with the world, right? And I guess this one also appeals, but it's like the only nearby yeah, thing. Yeah, I think is that goblins. you're going to have no one attack and dwar and some dwarves, but like the trade that you're gonna get from where you're at is gonna be better. You know. Yeah, Tower of Heaven. This is a, a place called Tower of Heaven. That's oh, interesting. Oh, there's, go there's godly places. There's some godly shrines in the in the. Gods have legit shrines, and they have like uh, deities of themselves in in world. And so you can go kill a god. I have to figure out what's going on here because I think I these think are two a, special locations right I there. I feel like there's a necromancer tower in the game, but I don't know. The dark pits I think might be coming from. Um, something evil, the woods of insanity and stuff. I'm not yeah. Sure. All right, sure. We'll yeah. start off here. Um, done with this. We're back yeah. here. All right, I'm back in. I'm. I'm. Okay. I like. I like the Your world there. Civilization's starting to get a plan. So I think what you want to do is get some underground farms going as well. So this space is kind of gonna be good. That what they're doing, digging that out. You want to put some stuff down. So you're gonna make a little dining hall area there, right on the top. Right, so I need to pause yeah. and make some dining hall stuff? or and, Yeah, and designate that space as a dining hall thing, but you're going to need some furniture to do that. Uh, you could just start with a simple table and chairs. I don't know where they are. Table, yeah. Look did, at it, that. did it start doing it, or no? I can't tell. That's one of your tasks. All right, so, tasks. so now we want chair. No. Nope. Uh, what about throne? Yep. I mean, if it's rock, it's a throne. If it's wood, it's a chair. Makes perfect sense to me. I don't know. You need to learn how to speak dwarf. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Remove this building, name this building. Can I just... I want to... All right. You're getting repeated until I have enough of you. Yeah, that's perfect. You're going to need a couple of those. And you can also trade. You can make really nice stone thrones and then trade them to elves and they'll like give you war bears for thrones goblets are also pretty good trade goods they're very easy to make so you can also put a repeat order for goblets and then that will basically let you do whatever you want um, right so your stockpile yeah that's already full so you're gonna need more stockpile space ah uh, cancel don't yeah and yeah, you're going to want to start telling your dwarves to not hang out up above. So you're going to need to designate the downstairs area as the uh, space they should be in. Okay, I think we got so that set there's up There's going to be some sort of zone designation or something where you can tell people to stay down here. Zones. Places, zones, yeah. Meeting area. Put the meeting area, uh, dining hall and meeting area up there. Can it be two things? It can be two things, yeah. So I did that. Do I have to edit anything else or just accept? Just accept. Yeah, that's good. And then dining hall as well. Uh-huh. It says so, multi there. I don't know what that means. I feel like it should do multiple uh, I think you can do... You can have different population groups have different dining halls. So you can have oh. soldiers eat, eat in the soldiers' dining hall. <laughs> All right. So your doors should hang out there if you if they can and eat there if they can. You see the the animals will also hang out there. I'm see thinking the, dogs are... the training room will go across from the, where they sleep. Uh, like... That'll be loud. You want your training oh, okay. room not right there. Um, so you're gonna want your your training room also right by your entrance for the soldiers. That's, like, what do you mean like by the idea. entrance? Like, so go up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, not, yeah, maybe a, a, up or down from there, I think. But you, you know what you also want to do is maybe see about getting some of the soil, underground soil that I was telling you about. You might want to start seeing if you can kind of find some places to put animals that aren't right by your entrance. You know, 
Right. So you want me to mine out this area a little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way then. Or yeah. no. Mm, sure. You can go anyway, and you're just gonna have to do some exploration, and that's okay because this is all behind your locked gate. Yeah. You know. Right. We'll go this way, and the training room I, will be yeah. here-ish. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's fine. Yeah. How big does and it need to be? That big? That that's more than enough. Yeah, that's totally good. That's fine. You can do that size because you do want to get um, some good. You can get a little archery range going as well. Okay. And you can have archers that go into little towers and they just sit out there and they just snipe people from their fortified towers. Yeah, I think this eventually would be a decent. It's like at the top of a hill, basically. It looks yeah. like. So you're gonna you can mine out that thing and just put out a ton of soil on like layers, basically. Yeah. I do like how these three are slightly above everything else. So this can be like the entrance, and then this is like mm -hmm. the where we have our towers the mi poking out. Mind out, mind out mountain. Yeah, it's right. it's pretty cool to be able to play with the mind out mountains. But really, what you want to do is go down because your best ore is down. So you don't want to spend too much time mining up. Mm. You can avoid it, but it's the best way to get that underground grow space for animals to eat the grasses and stuff. Right. Uh, we want a bedroom here dormitory no 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 you want a bed a dormitory for now because everyone needs to sleep in there yeah all right exactly yep because otherwise people are going to sleep outside and what you want is you want underground dwarves they're going to get sick whenever they go up to the surface because they're not used to being up there anymore okay um you can have like sun tolerant dwarves, like hill dwarves, or you can have mountain dwarves that just like can't stand being outside. And <laughs> it. It's pretty cool. I do like that. And do they become more sun or what? Yeah, or are they, they just. It's basically like... a tolerance. It's, they have yeah. a tolerance. You know, it's pretty, pretty funny. I'm going to put a door on these, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a decent idea. Just in case something were to come running through and they also like nicely made doors it makes them happy to have good furniture which also reminds me put those tables and chairs down that you've built i want to but i can't find my stuff oh my god how to uh here and then so i want to place my tables and chairs uh furniture table goes up here right yeah, and what I like to do is make like long tables by putting a bunch of tables next to each other and having there be like a head of the table, and then you can have like your golden engraved statues, and you can have waterfalls, all kinds of cool things. Do you have any? You don't have any water on your tile, any puddles of water. I, I don't really think like, so. Oh, there's really water. Like, is that a water? No, it's not water. No, I really like maps that have a little bit of water, but not a ton of it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can channel out things so when it rains you can collect water and so if you collect a nice amount of water that's that can be fun to work with because then you can do your water projects which is like the best part of this game did it say I have a chair? I don't have chairs right? I have thrones they're under chair <laughs> it doesn't matter which way I place this yeah it doesn't really matter you can move move these easily as well so you've got six of those, so put put these down. Put these six down, and then get a t some more tables made and stop that repeat order, because six, I think, is more than enough for your current dwarf population. So hotkeys are, if I want to just... Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. So if I press R... No, not. no you need to be in the build menu, which is a different hotkey. Where's the build? That's B. B is build... And then furniture was what? Wow, uh, okay. <laughs> and then R would be that, yeah. So B, what's furniture? Hover over furniture. F. B, F, R. Is how B, F, R. You... Oh, yeah, my God. You, you just need to memorize the key combinations. This game, if you can get the key combinations, you'll be good. So place all of your chairs down that you've got. And, yeah, I got another table at the um... workshop need. Your woodworking is, there's no, no woodworking being done. You could make more beds right now, which would be prudent. Make more tables. Yeah. And you're going to want to get some metal weapons or some basic weapons soon as well. You can make, I think, rock swords, I think, sometimes, if you have the right rock type. But it has to be like obsidian, so you've got like your giant obsidian slicing 
sword, you know, like how some people used to do that. Right. So what am I building here? Um, well, beds is usually one of the good things. You probably want some splints, maybe a shield or two would actually be okay. Just because you don't have anything else. Um, you're going to want to get some soldiers. Um, training sword? Get a training sword, yeah. And get a, a rack as well. All right, that good? RAC. I think so. I think lagging a little bit for me. Yeah. There we go. I, I didn't see exactly it, but I think you got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be your training area. You're going to want to put a rack down in the training area for your soldiers there. Um, so they can they can do their fighting from there. But I think right. what you re really need to do is get food. You need soldiers and food taken care of ASAP. Mm, our weapon wrap rack yeah 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 because you're gonna make one of those right nope mm. it's not made yet mm -hmm. okay all right so what do i do with what do i do about food then you need to start growing it and you need to make a kitchen so with food um you may have some stuff that came in your inventory with your cart but that's not gonna last forever so you can collect some stuff off the ground but what i really think you need to do is start mining out some soil that's within your base like past those doors i don't know exactly you could go side to side you could go down or up from your main stockpile area and put animals in there that could work Go down from there. Just do a, a tunnel down. It's yeah. It's from safe. where? In your safe zone. Go tunnel down in your safe zone. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. Where am I going from? Which which is my safe zone? Or your stockpile? Anywhere behind those two doors. That's safe. I can do it yes. like here. -ish? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And go down and just see what's that way. See if you can find some soil that way. Because that, if you find soil there, then you can just get that taken care of really quickly, and just mine out a ton of soil. And no, you didn't get any soil, but you can probably find something. So go up. What's above you? Up, up. Okay, so there's probably not going to be soil right underneath that mountain because the, the mountain has a layer of soil on top of it, but there's some rock in there as well, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's probably maybe some more soil to your right, I bet, but you don't want to get too close to your main entrance, right? You know? Okay. You your so maybe go to the right and down, is what I'm thinking. Right? Yeah, there. I think that's okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's see what's that way. Yeah. Because we know there's some soil to the right up above. There should be some to the right down here. And we're going to make a nice little enclosed animal area down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. Yeah, what is, there you go. So that's way faster. That's soil. So dig out that soil. Get a nice big square soil space there. And that's going to be a nice um, area to raise livestock. Bigger than that? I think that that's probably okay. I think to get the stuff to grow, though, you have to get you have to dig down very quickly. So you want to assign your miners to get down to the first cave, because once you get to the first cave, the grass will start growing. They don't start growing right now, but now that you've got that dug out, um, you could expand it a little bit more. But I would get your miner just digging down, just go straight down from here, from the. No, no, no. Go back to your central hall and maybe. You've got so that from not, here. Not, ne not necessarily because you don't want to have them going too far from that central hall. You, you want a main pillar going down that's your highway, you know? Okay. Um, and you don't want that too far from your entrance either. Um, so you could kind of put it um, off of that. You could do that, but then you're going to eventually want to put a door down to create a lock between that and your main dormitory. How know? about I just put it on the left here? You could do it on the left there, but you're going to want to keep it safe from your main eating area as well. So there needs to be doors separating your safe area from like the down as well, if that makes sense. So not there. You could put it there, but you need to put another door down. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll put a door down there. Um, yeah. This seems fine. There's three there, and then a door, and then this goes 
down from here and we'll do what like and just this just go way down just go super far down and 35 if they yeah no that's good and that might that might get you to the caves but maybe not and we should put in our door um yeah you want to be careful because this could also you could get things that come up from those caves that attack your dwarves and that they can be a little bit more dangerous than some stuff on the surface just kind of depending on where you are in the world And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're digging down. Um, you're going to want to start getting maybe a kitchen put together near your dining hall as well. Okay, um, but not near where they sleep. Yeah, it needs to be like on the other side of that, that dining hall. But not too far from the main highway <laughs> either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you need resources to come in and out of the kitchen. Uh, I'm not sure where to put it. Should I put it over here? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. You could do your kitchen. Um, can't, mm, maybe not. Maybe have the kitchen off of the... Yeah, you could have it kind of off of there, and then you could also have it... Yeah, I think that'd be fine. I think Okay. that, that'd be a good area for the kitchen to be in, kind of off of there. How big? That big? Less big? That that's probably good, yeah. Because you need a workshop, and then you need some stockpile space around it with like barrels, um, or Mm -hmm. or other things to put the food in once it's made. So you'll have like a kitchen where they do the cooking, and you can also store food. But you also need a butchery space, which is separate from the kitchen, because you don't want to butcher where you're cooking. So there's like a couple things to consider there. right Yeah. is that messy No. thought i heard a cat maybe it was the game Um, I think I, I'm going to need to end soon, though. mm We -hmm. can take it, and then we can continue us our time. Yeah, just But, let me. uh, yeah, I think I got, like, another couple minutes, but then I should, I should end. Sure. Um, put a door somewhere in here. Where is it? Door. Goes there. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh. Yeah, you're get you're getting the ideas that we want to have doors and you, it, look at your dwarves' moods. I'm just curious if you were to, okay, so he dug all the way down. There was nothing, huh? Yeah. Um, I was trying to go the other way, but down feels like up Could and you up could feels you do like me a down. favor? Go back. Go back to your dining hall space. Go back to your dining hall space. How are the animals doing? What animals do you have there? Mm -hmm. You got a dog, frail, frail dog. Um, is that a donkey? You got a donkey. So that donkey is going to starve if it doesn't get grass. So we're going to need to have a uh, some grassy spot for the donkey. So you can either keep that thing above ground. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. I, I think you should just dig down and get grass growing underground for yourself. Mm You hmm know? So Makes there's things sense. like that that like, they don't tell you. You know? How do I... There's the camel. He's low stamina, healthy. So uh, the dog's frail, but everyone else seems okay. Well, I think that's just their trait that That's they're frail. okay. They're frail. They're, Got they're just it. kind of a weak, a weak thing. So how's their mood? <laughs> Uh, mood, their thoughts. mood, mood. You fork, he's had a drink. Quite happy. Look, he's in a good dining room. Hey. He's getting, he's so blissful. Yay. I And can't. he's satisfied working. This guy's doing good. The fisher dwarf. How about you? Mm Are you are you happy? You're -hmm. You frail. forfeit. They're frail, but they recover quickly. So <laughs> this guy You're also gonna is need to figure out who's gonna be your soldiers. That's gonna be an important thing that you get training them soon. Yeah. Yeah, we can look at that next time. Um Yeah. wait, so is this person happy? I can't tell. It says they're euphoric due to inebriation. I think they're doing all right. Oh, at the very top, is that like the most recent thing? It says, I feel good. Do you see that? Yeah, I feel good. okay. I think that that's an indicator. I'm not sure. It's it's different now, you know, than it used to be. So So good. not quite sure. Dude, inebri they're all just down here drinking, aren't they? If you hit S, what, what comes up when you hit S? Anything? Uh, No. um... I wonder if you can see how skilled they are for the military, because that used to be something that you need an extension for, but I'm not I think sure.
This might have it. This, I think, is supposed to be like that. Labor. If you hit labor. Yeah, there's a lot of live instructions there, so you can kind of see your different people and what they're doing, right? And what they've mm -hmm. been assigned to, assigned to do. There should be some sort of way to see how... If you try and make your military, I bet it lets you see how good they are at it. Where's the military button? Da, 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 da. I don't know. That's hiding from us. Not yeah. terribly important. I'll, I'll let it run. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I need we'll a door, basically, at this point, right? Or two. All right, wait. Is this down at the bottom? Things I've done recently. Um, I think. Oh. I'm not sure. Ah, it looks, it looks like yeah. You can see that stuff, and then you can go to it. You can look at them. Look, it will take you to them. Interesting. So this is what you have. It's not like built this thing. It's like oh, I have this. I guess so. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, annoying that I have to keep prisoners to get my doors. Yeah, you gotta get your administrator. Get a little room and and a table and a chair for him, and I think that's all you need for an administrator, which you already have. You could totally get an administrator right now. And that would make your orders a lot easier. I would dig down and work on weapons and administrator and hospital stuff and, and your dining hall. It's like all that stuff at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so I can just keep going down to like 28? I think so. Yeah, you could keep on going down. Because I need the grass. To, and then I can get an administrator somewhere in one of these rooms. This mm -hmm. is this is not that. This is a different one. This is a... Can so, you see your civilians by going to you, I think? This I'm going to civilians. I'm going to put the, my admin this, over here. Yeah, perfect. By the, the training room, the military, yeah. and the admin. Perfect. All right, and then you said you or something? would bring that yeah. up. Yeah, and then pets. This is where you would slaughter animals from. Oh. You're not gonna, you're not gonna butcher any of them right now. But just look at you got a ton of dogs, which means that's great. You, but you don't have a a male dog, do you? Apparently uh, not. So you no. don't, you don't have a breeding pair, which is terrible. Yeah. Um, but if you do get a male dog from a trader, then you'll have plenty of of war dogs in no time. Um. You don't have a breeding pair of any animals. Nice. <laughs> great great job, tutorial. See, this is why the tutorial kind of messed you up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Sure. But you can you can have, like, two, like, turkeys. <laughs> and, yeah. like, that's, that's a good thing. I think the tutorial might be giving you more than you would get otherwise, though, because I, I, it's hard to get that much stuff normally. I see what you mean. And uh, so it's been raining. Oh, look. Wait, did I get... Oh, it grew up. My animal grew up. Nice. I've not been paying attention to any of this. This is just saying you've <laughs> done you, things. You okay, things cool. Your notifications, yeah. So nice. did you see it was raining? If you go to your surface, is there any water at all on the surface? Any puddles? How do you... It's, like, pan around. Like, it's that side. There should be some other areas. Is that water that's right by you to the down to the left? Is that water? I think that's water. I think you're surrounded by water. Or no. Maybe not. It's just the elevation thing. Is that the air? That's the air. Blue's the air. That's yeah, not... blue's yeah, empty. Blue's air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think we empty. have puddles. Yeah, you don't really have any puddles nearby. What about up up north? What's that dark blue up north? Oh, there's oh, there's yeah, some yeah, puddles. Yeah, okay. okay. So that's good because you can make drinking areas. And because you have puddles, that means if you set up things correctly you can collect more rainwater if you channel out areas around that. Hmm. Like, small channels should collect rainwater. Yeah, so I see this. if you an area that naturally has water on it, that's really good, because you can do water projects, and oh, those are, like, the best part of this game. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that's, that's great news. Um, I think yeah. we're pretty close. Yeah, we just got yeah. over an hour, so we could probably yeah. wrap up here and then continue that's this later. That's what I was later. thinking. It's been That'd fun. Be perfect. That'd be perfect. Yeah.